Hi everyone, it's Ray again. As you may know, our dev team is creating an app that uses AI to recognize famous places in photos. It's a challenge to create an app like this, and we've been working up to it by getting familiar with basic AI tasks like object detection. Object detection involves looking at a photo and identifying objects such as buildings or cars. And object recognition is where we can identify a specific building or a specific type of car. Now we know the difference, let's develop some code that can detect cars and then we can adapt it for other type of object across different industries like manufacturing or healthcare. You know what? I'm gonna call my developer friend Adrian to see if we can help me start on my code. He's always tinkering on something that we could use. Hello Ray. Hey Adrian, I need some code for object detection so we can move along with our landmark recognition app. Do you have any code that I can use to detect objects like cars? Cars? Actually, I recently built some code and it's pretty close to what you're looking for. It doesn't detect cars yet, but it does detect cows. Cows? Okay. So Adrian, how, how do you get it to work? Tell me more. Well, I use a pre-trained AI model that is supported by OpenVINO and I trained it to learn what a cow is. It was super easy. Okay, I see. Okay, so use OpenVINO. This might be a great start. I may be able to use the same code to detect cars too. Can you send me this code? Of course. I will send you the GitHub link now. All right, I got it. This is awesome. Thank you, Adrian. Good luck. All right, I've got the cow detector code. Now I need to adapt it to detect cars. Hmm. I think I'll call up my other developer friend, Joel. So you have an idea of how to move this forward. Hi, Ray. Hey, Joel, good to see you. So I'm working on our landmark recognition app and I want to start by detecting something easy like cars. So far, I have some code that can detect things like cows, but I'm not sure how to alter it to detect cars instead. Cows? Yep. <laughs> can uh, you guess? It's Adrian's code, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, should be too difficult. Let's take a look. With Adrian's code, you can see that this model has all different kinds of objects in the object detection code. So you'll be able to modify it to also detect cars. And don't forget, since you're working in OpenVINO notebooks, you can use your existing laptop. That's a really good point, Joel. And doing all this work in OpenVINO notebook can really save lots of time. Exactly. Here, Ray, I'll send you all my notes now. Is that all? This is exactly what I need. Thank you very much. No problem, Ray. Good luck. All right. I've got Adrian's cow detection code base and George knocks on how to translate it to work for car detection. Time to get to work. All right, folks, now we have implemented object detection. We can finally work on landmark recognition and retrieval in our next episode. If you want to try this yourself, go to our website to download the tools and resources we talked about today. And check out our hands-on lab related to object detection. See you next time.